right, what's up, little biscuits and sun-dried tomatoes? It's Brandon Collins, back with another interview from an Africa Roundtable. This video is with the leading cast of Tyler Perry's new movie, Divorce in the Black, which stars Megan Good, Debbie Morgan, and Richard Lawson. Be on the lookout for our full review on the Medium Popcorn YouTube page, which you should definitely subscribe to. Special thanks, as always, to Africa for this incredible opportunity. Now, here's my interview with the cast of Divorce in the Black. Hi, everyone. Brandon Collins from the Media and Popcorn Podcast. My question is for Megan, Richard, and Debbie. Because you're the central family in the story, what kind of environment do, did Mr. P uh, Perry create to allow you to figure out your family dynamic? And how did that support your approach as actors? We can start with Mrs. Morgan. Well, you know, the one thing about, about Tyler, because he you know, creates, writes, produces, directs his own project, he already has a very clear vision of uh, what, you know, what the project is and a very clear vision of his, of his characters. So, you know, you go in and if you're playing a certain way, it might not exactly be what Tyler has in his head, but I think in this particular project, we were kind of like on the same, on the same plane with that. And, uh, it was my first time working with him and um, he he can work at a very fast pace. Tyler usually doesn't do more than one or two takes, three maximum. Sometimes he shoots the rehearsal. And uh, because of the fact that Richard, myself, I've known Richard for decades and Megan all had this familiarity with each other. It just made all of our scenes just really, as I said, working with Megan, just really honest and true and organic. Megan? Um, well, I mean, obviously you have a dynamic that, that, uh, Debbie and I discussed, but with Richard, he's, he's everyone's dad. Like he is that guy who comes on set and definitely, um, pours into us and helps us out and, you know, talks to us and gives us advice. And, you know, even, uh, when I did love by the 10th date, he was on set, you know, working with Kelly and, um, again, there is a sense of fami familiarity as well. And so you just feel comfortable and you just feel safe and you just feel like someone is like looking out for you. So to be father and daughter was just very, very easy. So though everything in the dynamic across the board was like, okay, cool. I feel comfortable. I feel safe. I don't even have to necessarily work hard to lean into it. And sometimes it's like that. I mean, even just like, you know, holding or hugging someone in a scene that you're not familiar with, you have to like work to the space to kind of, you know, find that kind of texture. And um, with the two of them, it was easy, you know? And then again, as Miss Debbie said, Tyler has a very specific vision. You know, he, he tells you what he wants, but he also allows a space for you to follow your own instincts. Um, and then, you know, there, there's conversation. And then sometimes it's like, no, this is working here. We got, you know, we got it, we got it, let's go. So, um, yeah, it, it was, it was really wonderful because part of it was already built in. And then the other part of it was just very easy to get to. And Mr. Richard. Yeah. I mean, everything that they said, uh, Debbie, Debbie and I have been, uh, married, I think on four different occasions, uh, <laughs> over the course of the year. And so we've always had great chemistry. Um, and, you know, and I love her and, you know, and, and I don't know, Jeff wants to cut me. So I'm, I'm always, here's my wife. You know? so, and he's, he's such a gentleman about it, but it's a kind of natural kind of thing. Um, uh, you know, Megan, has always felt like my daughter. She reminds me a lot of my daughter and I would love to see the two of them work together, mm -hmm. but I've always had a love for her, you know, and um, uh, just cause she's been so strong and so present and she's such a great actress. You know, um, I looked at communication because of her. She was super in it. And so she, we had this kind of immediate affinity to each other. Uh, Tyler creates a family, you know, when you drive on the set, you know, that you're, you're part of a family, you, you know, there's like maybe two, 300 crew. I don't even know how many it looked like. It looked like we were in the middle of a beehive. There was so many people, but everybody there is, he, he afford the, the, here's, here's the, I think probably the greatest description. The um, they went to the Bahamas to shoot something. When they came back, the seamstress, Miss D, um, she just so for with great passion and and empathy and appreciation. She said, 
Tyler treated us all like we were kings and queens. Now he's talking about the crew. Yeah. That's who Tyler is. And so he creates family. So it made all of that, even though we're quick, moving quick, it was still tight and loving. The first thing we did was pray. So he's a family oriented person. And he found people who already have that almost naturally. Thank you, everyone. Medium popcorn. We are two niggas spoiling movies. Yeah. Brandon Collins. That's me. And Justin Brown for your moving needs. Medium popcorn. Woo! You haven't seen it, well, we're gonna spoil it. Spoil it in your face. That's your warning. Uh. So if you get pisses or you're